As a result of this, uh, of the, the, the battle, um, first and second corps got pushed apart. Again, uh, Lakato fought three days later. Haig made virtually no attempt to, to support uh, Smith Smith Dorian. And uh, at fighting at uh, Londres uh, around, around that time, Haig's headquarters was attacked by what was at the time thought to be a large German force. It's one of the few occasions in which Haig appears to have lost his nerve. Uh, according to the most famous account of this, written by his uh, man was to be his chief of, of, of intelligence, John Charters, Haig was suffering very badly from how shall I delicately put it, a deli belly, uh, had been put to, 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 uh, to, to, to bed. His doctor, uh, Mickey Ryan, had given him some uh, some medicine which, which is described as must be designed for elephants because uh, the impact was immediately volcanic. <laughs> and, mid, and, and in the middle of the night, suddenly um, the, 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 the pickets are pushed in, the Germans appear to be mounting a major attack. And um, Haig, uh, I'm only slightly embellishing this, but I've got this mental picture of Haig leaping off his bed of pain clutching his pyjama trousers with one hand, brandishing his service revolver with the other, saying, by God, we'll sell our lives dearly. <laughs> now, this is a wonderful story, which you can read in, in, in Charter's diary. Sadly, or sadly to the point of view of wonderful stories, uh, very recently, um, the diaries of, of, of Mickey Ryan, the, um, the doctor, have come to life. Actually, um, Ryan's uh, grandson, uh, who's also like him, uh, Eugene Ryan, uh, got in touch with me. I, I, I read them as a first trying to read them for my book and didn't mention anything of this sort of stuff at all. So you might actually chart as well as sort of you know, stretch along, but anyway, it's a good story. <laughs> but, but it does seem that Haig was understandably a little bit rational, not surprisingly. But he quickly recovered his nerve. And I think Haig's nerve, the ability to resist what a Field Marshal um, Wavell was later described as the shocks of war. I think is really very, very important. And Haig, if nothing else, for the most part, was able to keep his nerve at points of uh, critical danger. What we're about to talk about now, this, 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 this being one of them.